Also here at 530, that controversial and contentious day for Loveland City Council. The debate is all about seven current and former council members who are accused of breaking city and state rules when it comes to open meetings. Matt Brown joining us now to break this all down for us. Matt. Erica, it is not very often that people pack a city council meeting in the middle of a Friday afternoon, but that's exactly what is happening today in Loveland. It is still going on. It started at 2 o'clock. That's some uh, three hours of this, three and a half hours. The heart of this debate is what to do with the accusations that these council members circumvented open meetings rules and laws regarding letters sent to the state legislature and to the governor last year. So take a look. These are the current and the former council members who were named in this investigation by a special counsel who is hired to dig into this. The current members are not at the meeting today. However, they did have a lawyer present. We'll hear from him in a second. Now let's dive into the allegations and the recommendations listed in this 75 page report from the Gregory Law Firm acting as special counsel. It's says that those council members willfully violated local and state open meetings rules between April 19th and 27th of last year. The report says the members did this by using basically a daisy chain to write letters to the legislature and the governor polis to lobby a bill. The special counsel advises that an independent prosecutor and even law enforcement agency investigate this. That is what the council is debating today and discussing what they could vote on and what people are emotionally speaking about. This includes a number of people who live in Loveland who are both for and against the investigation and the attorney who represents the current council members named in the investigation. Listen. I find it remarkable that on this important day of mercy and grace, we find ourselves here called before this body for the purpose of political persecution and retaliation. Even worse, a vendetta for my client's exercise of their First Amendment rights. Truth is invaluable. You cannot put a price on it. So let's move this forward, get an honest answer, and let's get to the end of this. So again, the council has to decide if it wants to send this matter to an outside agency for someone to investigate. And depending on what happens, the council members under investigation could be kicked off the council and banned from running again. The meeting is going on three and a half hours now. They have not voted just yet. We'll keep you updated.